and I'm literally spray painting water. This is probably the coolest thing that I've recently come across, and I'm kind of doing it to everything. What we're gonna do is hydro dipping or marbling, and it couldn't be easier. Uh, the two things that we'll need, literally we can get at the hardware store, we just need a big plastic tub like this, filled with water, and spray paint. And the thing with this, you really wanna do this in a well-ventilated area. Um, make sure you do it in a garage or outside, definitely not in the house. Um, and again, it's something really, really fast. Okay, so make sure for this project that you definitely wear gloves because we are using spray paint. Um, and you can see here, this tub um, is definitely gonna be uh, ruined <laughs> because we are putting spray paint in it. The rim all around will have a residue of spray paint. So don't use one of your good laundry tubs. Just get an inexpensive one or an old one that you might have lying around. Um, we filled it up with room temperature water and uh, now we're ready to uh, do in the hydro dip. I just got inexpensive flower pots here. The background is sort of this dusty rose kind of color. So I want to do a bit of uh, almost a rose marble. Okay, so I have a collection of different colored spray paints here. Um, the first one I'm going to start with a bright pink and this is all you do. We're going to spray it around a few dots. And the next color we have here is this very light sort of pale rose. And um, like I said, that's how easy it is. And then I have a darker sort of brownie rose. And you can see in the bin here, that it already starts to look marbly. That's what we want. We want to have these little bursts of color. Um, and then I have, because for a lot of marbles have sort of dark veining, just a few little shots. And then maybe a bit of a brown. So in the bin here, this sort of sort of created a bit of a hole and I'm going to go in with a bit of white and maybe a bit more of this dark pink color. Okay. And that should be good. So we're not going to touch the top of, of the water or disrupt it in any way. Now we're just ready to literally do the dipping. So here's how quick it goes. And what you're going to do is you're going to turn and spin it. And literally, there you have your marbled piece. Now the cool thing with this is that the water will flow off and the paint will literally dry in like two minutes. So what you can do is you can kind of shake off some of the excess water. And if you want, go back in and dip, say, the other side. So you can put that aside, let it dry. The great thing with this is that you can use uh, whatever colors you want. You can layer it up so you can let this dry and then go back in and make, uh, you know, create darker marble if you want, or even add a different color if you want. Uh, again, it's completely endless. Cool. Where's that? As you can see, when you, when you dip it in, uh, because the spray paint is floating on the water, it's just sort of like looking for a surface to pick up. Um, and it almost wraps it like cellophane. So that's why when you're dipping, you want to dip and turn and rotate. Um, again, you can always go back into it, but that's where you get these really cool sort of like lines and stuff. It almost looks like, a, like tissue has been, uh, has been decoupaged on it. Um, but just so cool. And again, this is permanent because it's spray paint. Now, if you've made a mistake with anything, don't worry about it. You can always go back in and re-dip. That's why it's always best to sort of start really light and then work up uh, to, uh, to something much darker, um, unless you really want the, uh, that really dramatic effect.
Here's one that I've done earlier. It was sort of a grayish cream pot. Um, I did a black over it, and then now I can add a pink, and let's see what happens. Not so exciting, it's just pink, but hey, I can dip it again when it dries. Now, if you want to change the entire color scheme, because in here we have pink, now I want to go into a, uh, a lime green and black. So what you want to do is just take a rag, and as you can see, what we're going to do is we're going to literally dip the rag, and the rag will pull up all that excess paint, allowing us to then change the color. So you actually don't even need to change the water because this will just pick up a residue because I don't want to get pink, say, on my next project. Um, but any of the residue that's on the side of the bin is permanent. Okay, cool. Now the cool thing with this is that you can, like I said, literally do anything. I'm going to do this clock here. I'm just going to pull the backing out. Now, the only thing I would sort of shy away from is anything electrical, like a lamp. Again, you don't want to be dipping something, uh, you know, like a lamp in, then try and plug it in. That's hazardous. Don't do that. Um, you also don't want to do anything that you're going to eat off of, like dinnerware. Definitely don't do that. But anything decorative, like a pot or something like that, can totally be done. Um, and this one here, I'm going to do sort of in maybe a classic marble, which is sort of grays and blacks um, and some topies, whites. Um, and again with this one here, because we have the white as our background, the white will be actually one of our colors. So let's see what happens. It's kind of cool. You can just shake the water off. Put back on our clock face. Cool. Like a cool marble clock. That's awesome. Now, I'm going to try to do this big rhino head, which I think is really, really cool, and I've got a spot in the wall for him. So, I think I'm going to pick lime green, black, keep things organized. Lime green and black. Let's try that first. Okay. In you go for round two. It's kind of neat because uh, everything becomes almost happy accidents, right? You don't really know where it's going to go. I think he's done. Okay, so I'm going to hang it on the wall. And yeah, it looks awesome. Cool. So I hope you guys enjoyed hydro dipping as much as I did. And like I said, do it in a well-ventilated area and have fun. We'll see you soon.